9. Parallelogram ABCD has coordinates A, B, C, and D as shown. What are the coordinates of E, the intersection of the diagonals A, C, and B, D? Okay, so in any parallelogram, and I, I've drawn a sort of a random parallelogram here, not necessarily this one. If you want to be, uh, sp if you want to draw this exact parallelogram on a coordinate plane, you certainly can, but you don't need to to solve this. In general, a parallelogram has two diagonals and they're not equal, right? Clearly this one is going to be shorter and this one's going to be longer, but the intersection is always the midpoint of both. So however long they are, they're split in half at this point. So that's what we're being asked to find for this parallelogram is the coordinates of the intersection of the diagonals, which is point E. So all you have to do is find the midpoint of two points that are diagonally opposite from each other. So in this case we have A, B, C, D and typically when you label a parallelogram you go not typically, you have to go around in a circle this way A, B, C, D. You can go either direction but you can't go A, B, C, D then it won't work. So we go around A, B, C, D. So you can either pick A and C together because they're the end points of this diagonal or you can pick B and D together. So um, it's an arbitrary choice. I'm going to pick A and C. And you can do both if you really want to check. But I'm just going to do one. And we want to find the midpoint of A and C. So how do you find the midpoint? Well, the midpoint is just the average of the x-coordinates and the average of the y-coordinates. So depending on how formulaic you want to be, you could say the midpoint formula equals x1 plus x2 over 2. That's the first part. And then y1, that's a comma, so that's the first coordinate. And then the second coordinate is y1 plus y2 over 2. Really, it's just averaging the x coordinates and averaging the y coordinates. So the midpoint of A and C is going to be 1 plus 3 over 2, comma. 5 plus negative 1 over 2. Uh, 1 plus 3 is 4 over 2 is 2. And 5 plus negative 1 is 4 over 2 is 2. So 2, 2 is the midpoint. And like I said, if you really want to check, you can also average B and D, and you'll find that, again, the midpoint is 2, 2. 1 is the answer.